Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is Spy from today. Um, obviously, in this downtrend, kind of like that, right? This is like our first downtrend to get out of. Um, so you could do this or that. It doesn't matter. I would say this because there's more touches. Um, you could even, you know, maybe say this, but let's just stick with the short term. We are day trading. That only goes back two days. And because we got out of this, I was like, I'm bullish because we're making a higher low. All right, so we have this right here. And we have this right here. This doesn't really matter, but we have that. Okay, it's really tight. It's not, you know, the best by any means, but something like this. Okay, we, we there, let's go like this. Here, boom, double top. Never got really here, but there. Let's just call it there, don't matter. So we're making this pattern down, right? This is where we stopped on Friday. But now look, jumped up to here. Okay, now we're there, but. Okay, so the point is, this pattern, um, it did not continue lower. What was key over here was losing this and not just like making a W up. It even made a higher low, I thought. I don't know. Anyway, what was key here, though, for downside was this spot swung up. It doesn't matter how high, but look. We rejected right where we swung low that very obvious 500.35 level. Okay, so this was SPY. Um, let me go to the blue line so it's a little bit easier. Oh, by the way, on Qs today, we made this pattern up and um, we rejected the 200 EMA on the 15 minute, right there. So it was really just very easy um, after we got over opening print, right? We lost this blue line, we got over it right here. This is gonna be increased volume. See how the candles are getting higher or getting bigger? And uh, we just went straight to the blue line. So we went blue to blue. We did lose this and we never got to this blue line. Um, if we look at volume, See how volume's rising right here? Volume's rising. So <clears throat> usually need volume to get over a blue line. And what you see here is lowering volume into the blue. Lowering volume into the blue. So we can get higher. Like we can get a volume spike for sure. Like this spike came here, but it wasn't really out of resistance. So this is really not what you want to see is lowering volume into there. Now here we have this flush big candle there. The, the most notable thing on volume is if you have a big candle and a small volume bar or the opposite, a small candle and a big volume bar. Okay. And the first 15 minute candle of the day, really the first two don't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. It's always big and beginning and end of day. So you can throw those out. Um, here, we start to get rising volume, still not as high as this. We busted out. I would not have been surprised if we went under there, but we were able to get the top of this wedge. As I mentioned here, rising volume. I don't really talk about volume a ton because it's really hard to see volume in the moment. By the time you're confirming volume, a lot of times the trade is already um, like past this buy. I'm not saying it's not important to check. It definitely is. It can save you from 
lot of stupid mistakes. But frankly, you get good enough that you don't have to look at volume because you already know what it is, you know? So, um, kind of the same story here. Took out this level, right? We opened here, tested it, came down. This one actually went to the next blue line. Um, boom. So that went next to the next blue line. And then we bullish and golf from there. And it was up from there. Um, as far as this cluster, these three candles, 15, 15, 15, that's 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes to get over that. So we fully erased that move. All right. Now, this part right here was key. We got under, rejected right here. Look at this candle body. The candle body went under right away. Like you could be in puts right there. As soon as we're going to close under that and this candle took out these three, that's pretty serious in terms of the candle strength. Now here, we need to get over this level, right? We rejected it here. We could have went here down. We could have absolutely done this. And came just right back down. We could have done that all day. You know, something like that. Um, but it was like, what's going to happen the next time we're here? Because this makes a little as I said in the chat, a little bull flag. I said, we have a micro bull flag now on spot. And this is where we got into calls. So that was a beautiful play. I think I only held it to here. I don't know why. Probably because I was so heavy. But this made so much money. Um, I might have held it to here. I don't know. I think I did. Let me see. 98 to... Yeah, I did. I held it to there. I'd have to look at the timestamp. It's only $2. It looks like a lot, but look, it's really not that much. 97 to what is that two dollars it's not like it went to 510 or something so and then we have this black line here the black line is this the black line is this just like i was showing on cues we're making this diamond back pattern here's the other you could say the other side of that is here Boom, 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 right? You could also say it's like more like this, but it doesn't matter. The point is you, you make a higher low. Higher low, we're out of it. As soon as we busted above here, I was all about it. Um, I did not get in there. Some people did because we were still under the black line. I got in here. We were flagging out of it. So this preparation of drawing this line after, edit trend line alert. Yeah, I don't need it anymore so yeah so i still have the trend line but i don't need the alert okay so um pretty easy day i saw a few people get bear trapped because they thought we would stay under here um you just gotta you know be be leery of these reversals this is a perfect setup for a reversal. I wasn't looking at the 65 minute at that time, but if you have pre-market on, what a reversal that is. Let's take pre-market off and see if we could have, yeah, even with pre-market off, we still got this reversal candle up. Came off the blue. Look, if this is the last place that we like lost, look at, we bounced off here, came up here, lost it, bounced up, down, and we just retested this little swing high from fr from Friday. Um, so it doesn't really matter which time frame you're on because you see that we retested this level right here. So we lost this level, right? We bounced off of it, lost it, retested it. We were down, but we gapped above it. We never got above this for opening. We, we lost... Like we tried to gap above, but we really didn't get another blue line up. Um, and then we just went here, went to the bottom of this range. We still haven't broken a blue line yet. See how we're just from here to here. Um, yeah. Beautiful play. It's just being aware of your levels and zooming out to see reversal candles. Even that cluster, you have this, which looks pretty bearish. 
but this is like hyper bullish. Um, and it's at the bottom of a trend right here. So yeah, so you have this falling wedge. Um, let's take a look at like maybe the five minute chart, finish out our recap of the day on SPY. Um, you're just taking out blue lines to the top side. See, look, now the black line is up there. I don't really understand that. Oh, I know why. Because if you draw a trend line and then take off after hours, it messes it up. So this is all messed up. Let me calibrate this correctly or something. Okay, forget the black line for now. I would have to zoom out and put it right here. The, the black line is supposed to go like this from there through there because we were flagging right above it. Okay. Um, but the point is you're taking out these blue lines to the top, to the upside. So I just said that we rejected this on Friday, rejected this at open. Now we have to get over that, which we did. Now the next level is this. It's the next level that we lost. We lost this, went to this. So we need over that, which we got. Um, we closed right below it. I do think we gap up till about here. Um, and as long as we are outside of the black line, which has moved. So let me go like this. As long as we stay above this black line, <clears throat> we should be good. Yeah, we went like this. Closed here. We theoretically could do this and still get like a double bottom. I really hope we stay above this. Um, I don't know, you know, obviously what's going to happen, but you want the last level claim to remain, right? So we, um, let me see, there's an easier way to draw this. Couldn't break this level. Every time we turn, it's like a level that's notable. Okay. So see how right here we need to stay above that. The last level we claimed, we need to stay above. Um, and if we gap, like here we gapped up and never gave up the level we gapped above, like here, we didn't really gap up, but we never broke a level. This is one day, the lighter color shading. This is Thursday. We kind of opened flat, lost it. We went under a blue line, under blue. Line. We never got any blue lines to the upside. So we never got any levels here. We got one, two, three, almost a fourth level we we stopped out right there and then to the downside right we took out one two three almost a fourth and then we lost one two we never lost a third so you could theoretically be like one two three to one two three to two hey bulls one but we're out of this bigger channel so now we could you can ride a trend line down in a bearish way you could just go like this. Totally could do that. Um, a lot of times you'll slip back into this and it'll just be an anomaly. You'll get like one bull day and you'll kind of come down. You'll definitely retest. You'll go like this. But the second time it's like you're in and now you're pinned. And then you keep your trend line and you're like, hey, that was just a pop out, pop in. I hope that doesn't happen. It totally could. We've been pretty dang bearish. And the market breath has been bearish and it's oversold and everything is saying we're due for a bounce. You really want to get over this 200 EMA. Um, let's look at the daily chart. 200 EMA changes. I guess right here. It's not even there. Look. Four, seven, two, three, four. Oh, and the daily, it's way down here. That's right. Yeah, so we're still above this. So let's go shorter term than the daily, like I said, the, the 65 minute or the hourly. You're right. So you have to get over that. Um, just look at the clouds. Don't look at the blue lines. Look, I could even take them off. See just the cloud? You have to get above that. We were above every time we touched, we just went up. So you don't want it to be something where now it's a ceiling. You want it to get above hold just like it did over here. Okay. So that is basically it. Um, what a beautiful day. Oh, let me go over. Um, 
NVIDIA because Amy had a wonderful play on NVIDIA. Let's do it on this chart. It's cleaner. So kind of same. So we got over this like channel, right? And then Amy had us in NVIDIA calls. So as we can see, Friday was a huge flush day. It was the worst single day for NVIDIA since COVID in terms of percentage or points or something. It was bad. So there's Thursday, there's Friday. So Friday went from 850 and it touched 750, 100 point sell off. So um, let's just look at Friday's range. Okay, so let me take off the extensions. So this is Friday's range. So we're in an inside bar. It's going to look like some sort of um, <coughs> um, bear flag. So you kind of have a rising wedge now. But the point is, when we got this little, like, different, we had this broadening wedge here. That was really cool. You could do it this way, or you could do it like that. Right. So Amy got in here on the higher low and wrote it up. And I think she had calls from open, actually. Because we went 776 to 790. I mean, that's 20 points. I know she got back in here which is really cool. I got a new high a day. Um, just a really easy play. You want to break this range, of course. We're still in Friday's um, range, but anytime you have a massive sell-off like that, you're not going to get out of that range in one day. So it's elevator down, staircase up. If this can continue grinding up, you know, you need each level that was lost. This level was lost. This level was lost. This level was lost. So we didn't get above that one. And then the one we did get above is like this. See how we went here and then lost it? So you want to get above that. Um, which we're above now. This price action all took place, this broadening wedge. We dipped off of here, dip ripped. We took this broadening, falling broadening wedge. Here, right off of that same level from open, kind of double bottom on that spot. Disregard this. I'm just saying this candle and this candle double bottom. Like it didn't go lower there. Um, and we really didn't get above that. This is a flush. This is like a zone that you can't probably trade. Um, that's, to me, a chop zone. And yeah, it did work. But my point is, I could see us chopping here and there and, you know, on Thursday, Friday, just eating away on Theta. So for me, I need to get under this, retest it down or above 804, retest it up. That's just what I need. And that's it. So share this with friends. Unbelievable games today. We, we had just, it was incredible. Uh, I mean, this move here up, people got... 800%, 700%, 500%. And then this end of day move here, somebody got 400. Just from here to here. Um, wow. So, never know when you jump in and get that bag, baby. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye.